Hello guys, welcome back to another video and another new location. So today we are at this incredible old house, which has got tin cladding all around it, which really does show the age of the property. But um, I don't think there's a great deal left in here. I'll have a little walk through and see what we can find. Got a tennis racket here, look. I'm not sure what that is. Possibly a hammock or something folded up. We've got a kitchen area here, which to be fair has still got quite a lot of bits in here. Old larder. Got some bits hanging up here as well. Look. Shame there's not a date on there. Oh. <laughs> Judging by the hair card, I'd say that was um, 60s, 70s maybe. Um, yeah, there's nothing really that gives us a date of when this place um, got left. The range is very nice. A couple of bits up here as well. Looks like we've got some salt possibly in there. Still, yeah, just got some plates and dishes. Johnson Bros, England. Hmm. Got a couple of bits left in here. Some paint. <laughs> Not quite sure. I don't want to give you any information to where this place is. Okay, we've got a, a phone bill there. 2000. Okay, so that gives you some kind of idea when this place was occupied. Anyway, walking out from the kitchen, we walk into lounge area. I need to be careful where I'm treading because there's, <laughs> there's holes everywhere. Ooh, didn't actually feel very good. There's literally nothing here. There's this massive hole on the floor. It's a shame. Because, I, I mean, there's a few bits here. I mean, maybe this place was, um, you know, fully stocked at one point, but it's got to a stage now where it's been empty for so long. People have been coming in here, stealing stuff. Oh, my God, the whole floor. Literally, the whole floor moves. Got the fireplace there. God, this is really unsafe. Put balls down so I walk across so you don't actually fall through the floor. Oh, but well, that's interesting. There's a massive Union Jack on the ceiling. Someone's actually gone to the effort of painting that on there. That's really quite cool. It goes into here as well. This was obviously the bathroom. Nothing left in here anymore. I'm guessing that's where the water tank would have been. Still got a toilet. Oh, we've still got an ornament of sorts. Sadly, someone's broken it. Look at the rest of it there. Looks like an old wagon or a car of some sort. That's a shame. Okay, so yeah, not much left in there. Actually goes further back than what I thought this place. We've got another fireplace there. Look at the paint peel on that. Cool. I think we've got one more room through here. Okay, so this is obviously where they've been storing all the furniture. So we've got beds, couches, a couple of chairs. There's a few chairs in here floor has literally collapsed everywhere. So I don't want to go too far off of this ball to be honest in case I end up going through the floor. And we've got a load of newspapers in that corner. Oh. I want to try and see if I can get a date. Oh, actually it's pretty solid this floor here, it's not too bad. No more like a bloody badger will so jump out and bite my foot in a minute. Holy 
Holy shit. Is that what I think it is? That is... Oh my god, that is a stuffed lizard. What the hell? It's like an iguana or something. Oh my god. I really didn't expect to see that in here. That's really bizarre. Paper. So we've got it just says Tuesday January 19. It doesn't actually give you a year, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> um, well, we reckon it was about 2000, judging by that letter that we just found. So I've got a have a little look at that. That is real. That is actually real. That is quite gruesome, if I'm honest. Right, let's go and check out the outbuildings to see what we can find in there. Okay, so we're leaving the main house now. We've only got a couple of outbuildings here. We'll check this one out first. The roof's come down in here. We've still got quite a lot of stuff in here, to be fair. Those are tools and things over in that corner. Those are jars in that bottom drawer, I'm not quite sure what those are. That's quite interesting, it looks like there was some kind of a sink or something, I'm not quite sure what that is. It's like an old coal bunker over in the corner. Alright, let's go check out this other one. This other one's a lot bigger, so hopefully there's going to be more in here. Wow, which there is. A lot of stuff in here actually. Oh, I've got some um, naughty pictures on the floor there. Sorry, but I won't be able to show you any of that. <laughs> oh, wow, we've got a couple of old bike frames in here. That looks like an old rally. Yeah, it is, it's an old rally. I'm not quite sure what model it is, I can't quite read it. stuff's been here for. I know we found that letter inside but I mean look at some of these tools these have been here for years. Some chairs in there. A bicycle tire right there. That looks like a rally chopper tire and look it's got a little bird nest on the top of it. Wow. Little aerial box on the floor there. Oh, must have stood over that when I walked in. Oh, I don't see those anymore. Is that cash tool? No, is it wax? I thought it was an old cash tool tin. Well, I think that is pretty much it. To look at here. I think back in the day there actually used to be a train carriage just there. I'm sure I've seen someone else do a video. I think it was a band of world explorer came here a few years ago. There was an old car there and what's left of it. Don't know what that is. Morris Minor possibly. Well, I think we're pretty much done, guys. So it was only a short video, that one. It was only a small house, and there wasn't really much here to show you, to be honest. But I wanted to come in and document it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out my Instagram, which is to be an underscore. And we will see you on another Explore soon.